Hey you guys, I hope you guys are having a happy new year and welcome to 2018 with me. You guys, I'm so looking forward to 2018 as far as what it has in store for me personally, professionally, here on YouTube, just in life overall. So I wish you guys the best of luck in 2018. I hope it's filled with lots of happiness and joy and I hope you guys get whatever your heart desires this year so yeah um, so to start off my first video of 2018 i figured i'll do my best of beauty for makeup and you guys know i did my best of beauty for hair i posted that video yesterday so today's going to just wrap up that whole best of beauty for makeup and hair you know just for the overall year of 2017 so if you guys want to see what i picked out then of course just keep watching all right, you guys, so I did my very best to make sure I did not pick any products that I have featured before in the past. I may have picked up probably two products, but I just tried to make sure it was truly products that I reached out and bought in 2017. And again, I may have two products that's like a repeater from like a previous year, but it's because I just kept reaching for it in 2017. So it just kind of made its way back into this video. Um, I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna grab and go. Um, I didn't pick any in terms of like every single category. I just grabbed what I loved and I just kept it moving. So it's gonna be kind of like a little bit different from the previous years but it's okay change is good um so to start off with i do have three foundations here with me and you guys let me just say these three foundations have been my holy grail status for 2017 which is why they're here in this video and i am surprised that my maybelline did not make it into this video my maybelline fit me and that's because you guys know i have talked about their product for so long i was like saida just give it a rest already and just pick something else and just try some new foundations because i'm the kind of person and it's so funny because of me doing youtube videos you think i would be that person who is consistently trying like foundations concealers blushes highlighters like i'm not i just tend to like just stick to what i like and what i know but i'm gonna do better in 2018 as far as like trying different things because i need to just grow my collection more and stop talking about the same products over and over again um so this well not this year but last year i did really good with the foundation area so to get it started the first one is going to be the kat von d locket foundation you guys i told you guys i had this in my collection and i just never used it because i kept picking up my maybelline over and over and over and over and over again so I told myself, Saida, you bought the foundation, you have yet to use the foundation, so use the freaking foundation, which I did. Um, I am in the color Deep 71. Now you guys know this foundation is nothing new on YouTube, it's just new to me because I took too long to use it. Oh my god, the coverage is insane. It is straight full coverage. If you want beat to the gods, locked and loaded, heavy duty cover every single mark that you have on your face this foundation is the one for you and i honestly thought that i was not going to like it because i do have dry skin but let me tell you a good moisturizer and a good primer is all that you need to have in terms of utilizing this foundation or wearing this foundation if you have dry skin you can still wear it just make sure those two bases are good and you can wear this foundation i love a full beat foundation I just kind of feel like either you go big or you go home so this one is amazing i love the pump on it i love the consistency on it with a brush it blends out really good with a beauty blender it blends out really good it's just an amazing foundation and i cannot wait to purchase another one when it runs out because i love love this foundation next one that i have is the milani it's the conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation i told you guys that i was on a hunt for this foundation when it first came out and you guys already know because i've told you guys over and over again i'm not a person that buys foundation online i'm more of a go in store check out the colors see the matches and take it back home with me so this one was so hard to find because they did not have the darkest colors in store they just had it going to like like, like the lightest colors and i'm like okay listen there are more skin tones than just the light and fair you know but it's okay because i eventually got my hands on it and i got it late but it's okay because i tried it and i love it um i do have mine in the color it's called chestnut number 13 
I love this foundation. I think it is amazing. It's also full coverage as well. I love the fact that it has a pump on it. And you guys, it is medium to full coverage, so you can definitely build it up. It is so lightweight on the skin. I just love when a foundation that's full coverage is not heavy to where it's like you're wearing makeup. Because I don't want to feel like I'm wearing makeup. I want to feel like I'm still in like my skin with just some layers on it you know what i'm saying you feel me so yeah it is long wearing and i just think it's an amazing foundation milani did an awesome job with it and i think if you haven't tried it you're definitely missing out again it is to be done to full coverage you get a two in one you have the foundation and a concealer even though you have a concealer in here i still go back with another concealer because that's just me but you don't have to if you don't want to but i just choose to but it's amazing and then the last one is the Notorious Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Um, I have mine in the color 390. Um, it is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. You guys, this foundation is more medium to full coverage. Um, you can definitely build it up if you want to. I typically do two layers and I'm fine with the consistency of two layers. Um, I love the pump that you have on it and the fact that she has so many shade range for everyone is amazing. Especially be like a new brand on the market. I just thought that it was very, you know, kind of her to just think about everybody else um, and not exclude other skin tones out. But that foundation is amazing. Um, I did try it out towards the end of the year because I didn't get a chance to play with it when I initially first bought it. But I do love it and it's amazing and i will definitely be using those three in 2018 but i will do my best to try new foundations this year as well all right so moving on i do have a couple um highlighters in front of me um but before i get to those i'll just show you my one concealer this one is my like repeat from last year is a tart shape tape concealer um i pretty much just killed this product in 2017 because i just love it um i also used my maybelline fit me but i didn't want to feature that because i featured that product over and over again um so i do like this concealer a lot it is full coverage again it's probably the best one on the market right now um and again i did use my other concealers but again i just need to learn to expand and try other stuff um but this one was definitely one that i reached for the most and again you guys pretty much know about it it's amazing it's full coverage it lasts a long time it doesn't really crease it's just bomb so love that next product is going to be some eyeshadow palettes um i did do a better job with eyeshadow palettes this year i know i just featured this to you guys like recently but just a short amount of time of me playing with these palettes i have grown to love the brand which is bad habits beauty um it's their eyeshadow palettes so you guys i told you that they make dupes to like the higher end brands in terms of like their eyeshadow palettes so there is not a specific palette that i love over the other i just love the brand overall in terms of like their eyeshadow palettes so that's why i just have these two right here just to kind of show you guys that i do love their eyeshadow palettes and just that brand in general you can find them on shop hush um their actual website i prefer to shop through the app to get the free shipping but if you pick up their eyeshadow palettes again by bad habit beauty you will fall in love i'll link my videos for them in my description box below but love 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 um now being more specific as far as like eyeshadow palettes um the first one is going to be by Too Faced it is their just peachy matte um eyeshadow and I did get this um towards the end of the year but my short amount of time of using it I have grown to love it you guys know I love these kind of eyeshadow colors as far as for my palettes and it smells amazing I do have the color called peach sangria all over my lid it's a really pretty color and I honestly was surprised to see myself reach for an all matte eyeshadow palette not saying that i won't but because i like to have like those shimmer shadows in in there as well but these colors on their own they're really vibrant they're really pretty they're wearable on its own and you don't need to include a shimmer shadow in your look i have nothing shimmery on my eyes it's just a plain matte eyeshadow look so that goes to show how much i love this palette for me to not even include a shimmer eyeshadow in my look so love this eyeshadow palette and then the last one is by sephora is the sephora pro um i almost dropped it it's the sephora pro um eyeshadow palette this is what it looks like i love the weight on this palette it's freaking heavy and it's amazing and the quality is bomb.com um here is the actual eyeshadows as you can see it is a warm eyeshadow palette they have 
two others but this one was definitely my go-to because it's more of like your warm colors um now i do gravitate more so towards like this side of the palette more so that side but overall it's a really good palette when i say the pigmentation is insane you do get quite a bit of fallout but who cares because the pigmentation is amazing so please make sure that you tap off your brush before you go into your eyes because it's a lot of pigment but the colors are amazing it blends out like a dream and it's just the best palette that sephora the actual collection have came out with so love it and then moving on to highlighters um i do have four in front of me because you guys know i'm a highlighter junkie and i just love highlighters um the first one is by milani it is their highlighter in call um glowing which is this one right here i just love the packaging it looks very high and luxurious and here is the inside of the packaging Let's just swatch it for you guys. The consistency of this is amazing. Look at that highlight. So pretty. Um, it's not like the most beaming highlight in a drugstore, but it's a really pretty highlight on the cheek. So I have been loving this one, especially since I picked it up. Um, the next one is going to be by um, Maybelline. It's the Master Chrome um, Highlighter. I do have it on my face today. And I'll just swatch it for you guys. When I say the texture of this is amazing, I just love the way it feels. And it just looks so wet. Like, look how that's, like, blinded and wet compared to the Milani one. So that's why I was saying the Milani one is not as blinded, but it's still pretty. But the Maybelline one is definitely more of, like, that wet look on your face, which I love. Love, love, love. Moving on, I was honestly so surprised that I was going to like this. Or love it because I got it from I um, actually got it from Marshalls I was gonna say TJ Maxx but Marshalls is by Bella Pierre it's the glowing palette and I feature this in my I want to say it was like my TJ Maxx hauls video this is what it looked like um, I pretty much told you guys that I only utilize this one down here and that one up there um, but you guys the consistency of this is really nice but I just love this like bronzy color in here it's called guilt um, here is the swatch of that on my hand and it's so pretty look at that so pretty against the skin it's not chunky it's not glittery it's a nice highlighter and um, I wish I can get more use out of the other colors but I can't um, but again these two colors I pretty much get use out of those but especially gilt at the bottom and then the last one is by Rihanna it's the Fenty Beauty um, kilowatt highlighter duo um, I do it I do have it in the one with Moscow Mule and Ginger Minge. And I know I got this one really late, but I do like this palette as well. Here it is. And I'll just swatch the both for you guys. Super pretty against the skin tone. Especially if you are around my complexion. So pretty. And then swatch the other one. I just like how it's like you have like your blinded one. And if you have the more like subtle, like every day you're going to like work a school one. So that's that one right there so pretty she just killed the entire collection like uh, i just love her all right and the last two i just have two lip options because you guys you know i'm like a lipstick person and i just could not pick so many lip colors so i just grabbed the two that i just reached for the most in 2017 which is by kylie it's the like gloss you guys know i have topped this gloss over every single lip color that i have put on my lips in 2017 and it was so funny because when this first came out i was like that is too light for me but topping it off of everything it's so pretty and i actually like it by itself i use like a lip liner with it like a brown lip liner with it i like it by itself but top on top of something it is so freaking pretty and the last one is by bare minerals is the marvelous moxie it's the one called a lister this one I was super surprised about because it's a shimmer lip gloss and you guys know I don't really like shimmer lip glosses but this one pretty much made me try other shimmer lip glosses. That's why I bought the one from Wet n Wild that I featured in my um, haul you know, like a, I think like a month ago because this glitter one made me just want to try other glitter lip glosses. It is not chunky you guys. It looks so good on the lips. It makes the lip look so wet and juicy and plump and I love a glossy lip and this just does it for me and I honestly am so happy that I was able to just try it out and I actually 
got this by a mistake i was trying to buy another lip product by bare minerals and i happened to pick up this product by mistake and i was supposed to return it and then something said to just try it and i was just like whoa like I'm happy with the mistake because I love this product a lot. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much all of my products that I have for my best of beauty for 2017. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. For those who have stuck with me through 2017, through me having Trey, me purchasing a house, just me learning how to just transition, juggling being a mom, a wife, you know, still having to go to work, still trying to be a YouTuber. Thank you guys for those who just kind of like stuck with me because I did lose a few subscribers along the way, but they weren't rocking with me the hard way like y'all are. So I appreciate it. And I know 2018 is going to be my, my glow up year. I'm calling it my glow up year because I'm going to just make 2018 be about doing what's best for Saida, not put in, you know, other things that's not going to make me like happy first. Um, I just want to just be happy and, you know, healthy and just be a great mom and a great wife and a great daughter and a great sister and just you know just do what's going to make me happy and just be someone that you guys can come to when you guys are having a rough day in your lives and just you know sit back and just talk about girly products with me so i'm looking forward to 2018 in terms of like my channel and i i, I do believe this is going to be my year and i i feel it in my heart and i'm excited that you guys are still here with me and yeah hope you guys please rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video so bye guys